In the video I filmed yesterday about setting up your new Cricut Explore, I purposely left out the identification information because I didn't want to show a person's um, name and email address on the internet. So I've been asked to show that part of it and I'll use a fictitious name um, to do that for you. So to set up your Cricut Explorer, go to cricut.com slash setup as I've shown here and press enter. If you don't have an account set up, then you need to click this button over here, need a Cricut account, question mark. And then type in your name over here. Actually, I'll use my name and I'll just use a fictitious address. So you need to type in your email address here now. You need to type it in twice and they need to match or it won't work. And then you need to create a password. From there, just click that you agree to the terms and conditions because if you don't, it won't let you create an account. And then you can choose whether or not you want to receive updates and information by email. So if you don't leave this checked, then you won't be receiving that information. And that is important information to receive. So from there, just click create my account and you're all set. That's all there is to it. One thing I should mention is that this Cricut account will work for Design Space, which is for the Cricut Explorer, but it also works for Cricut Craft Room. You only have the one account and that's what you use to sign into either one, either Design Space or Cricut Craft Room. Um, from that point, it goes on to what I showed you in the video that's called Getting Started with Your Cricut Explorer. Thanks so much for watching.